So I've been mumming for seven years and I mum about uh, 3,000 over cases. <laughs> can you say it to me again? Uh, but you don't smile, smile. Okay. Okay, actually I was uh, doing funeral directing for many years before I actually thought about going to be embalmer. That time back then, you, there's only one female embalmer in the whole industry. It's, it's very difficult to be, uh, how is it, accepted back then. Because it's only male, it's very male dominating um, industry. Mm. Okay, last time when I was uh, doing uh, funeral directing, I like to also touch the dead body, you know, I touch to adjust that shirt and all. You know what happened? The, you know, the older worker, right? The guys, right? They would just slap my hand away. And they say, hey, you're female, you're dirty, don't touch. It's very different. Like, now it's like everybody's like, hey, Sarah, can you go and help to adjust? Because it's a female and they want a female touch. Uh, instead of a guy going and adjust the clothes and all, like even adjust the bra. And mumming is not like what you think, eh? It's not cutting up, eh? Okay, normally we have the death cert first. So after the death cert, normally, uh, sometimes we actually look at the cause of uh, death, but it may not be the uh, main thing that we actually look for. Normally, it's, we have to see the physical body and the condition that is present over there, then we actually do the embalming based on the conditions. Then uh, we decide on what our chemical to use. We undress the, you know, normally they will be wrapped with a body bag. So we have to unwrap it, uh, disinfect the whole place, uh, whole body as well. Uh, what we do is actually we have to actually look for the artery. So we actually will raise the artery from uh, whichever point that we actually look for. She do a small incision over maybe on the neck area or at the leg area, femoral, to actually look for a femoral uh, artery. Then we do injection with the, the chemical. So the chemical will start to flow into the body. Then after we will see whether if there are any changes and the body actually respond to the chemical. We are trying to actually, okay, the chemical actually help to disinfect uh, the whole body. Also actually to uh, preserve, it can be like a, a few days or even to a few years. So it depends on how strong the chemical we are using and what type of chemical we are using. Once the chemical actually we see that's present in some of the uh, uh, body right area, then we'll start to drain the blood from the vessel. So we experience gunshots, fishing accident, kids, toddler, and then farm accident. Yeah, and then like fishing accident, then it's like, oh, there's a fishing accident case, headless. Then we are like, oh. Okay, and mama will be like, wow, another challenge. So we're like, oh, okay, we still embalm. Okay, because the mother want to touch him. So the baby still have to embalm him. So there's a head, lah, it's just separate. No head, no head, no head. You cannot find a head. Yeah, it went to the big sea already. It's the, you know, the fishing rod? I think they are trying to fish very big fishes. So the fishing rod is really those thick ones. It just whip off the head. It's a very clean cut, you know? I, I thought it's going to be like, 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 like Jagger or whatever. No, it's really... Sh <sighs> yeah. You're such an interesting person. <sighs> when some uh, cancer cases, whereby their tumour is actually uh, on the surface of the body. So I did one was actually on the face. So um, family, of course, they wish to see her. And okay. Some of the family members doesn't want to see because they feel like they're really sad about it and she don't look um, like normal because her face have a, because of the tumour it changed a lot of the face uh, position like the eyes is not it's just one side so uh, we still do embalming and try to actually do as uh, as natural as possible and then we actually cover you know she have a shawl then we just cover part of her face so she still look very nice on one side. I feel uh, I, I, I have this duty or responsibility to actually uh, make them look pleasant, be it whether uh, there's family members or no family members. So it's like because of this case, they have to be exported back to his country. So it's very sad that I also have my feelings on him as well. I was like, oh, imagine like, you know, the family members have never seen him for like maybe half a year. No matter what I do, I couldn't uh, make him look like what he used he used to be, so uh, it made me really frustrated. Okay, I learned to actually take life uh, less seriously, so so that you know I can prioritize my family first and spend more time with them. Because in this life, I have a seen life being taken away, whether you are healthy or you are young. 
I actually stopped embalming uh, at the midnight. And one of the reasons is because I want to have a balanced life. And another reason is actually um, uh, I got scared before by uh, some situation. So what happened was when I was doing embalming one time, midnight, it's like around 2 plus already. So alone in the embalming room. So it's like our embalming room is at the back of the building. So it's quite quiet and you, know, you, you hardly get anyone else there. So I was just like, happily with my music and mumming and suddenly I heard whistle. And it's coming nearer to the door. And I can't see who is coming, right? Then I'm like, oh, see how confirm. Wow. Then I start to actually stop whatever that I'm doing. Then the whistle get louder and louder and louder. Actually, it's another embalmer. He opened the door, hey, hi, Sarah. I'm like, uncle, why are you whistle? I said, oh, I know you are in here. I don't want to scare you. Huh? I say you should just call my name, right? Yeah. That would scare you so far. Scare you? Scare, scare me because it's like. So they call Sarah, also scare you, uh, No matter what. Yeah, they yeah, are quite true, you. la. So it's like. I'm coming. Also I was scared. like, oh, I'll be like, who? Yeah.